Hi, everybody. Welcome to Goal TV, the Dave DeAnne Show, presented by Option One Credit Union. I'm DJ Foster, joined as always by Grand Valley State head soccer coach Dave DeAnne, coach of the GLIAC regular season and GLIAC tournament champion Grand Valley State Lakers. Uh, Dave, you just finished up um, the GLIAC tournament after uh, getting two successful wins this weekend uh, against two Ohio schools. Uh, you're 18 0 and 2 now overall after a 15 0 and 0 perfect uh, GLIAC regular season. Friday, you faced Tiffin uh, in the GLIAC semifinals. Tiffin, a team that has played you well the past couple of years. Uh, you win 2 nothing. Alyssa Myra, who uh, was the defensive player of the year, scored an offensive goal for you, put you on top early, uh, about 15 minutes in, and then Ashley Botts added an insurance goal later. Uh, you outshot Tiffin, 32-2. to Chelsea Parisi only needed to make one save in the win. Talk about uh, the victory over the Dragons. Well, I th I th and first off, I you know I think uh, Tiffin's done a great job to get to where they're at, and uh, I was really you know the, I think the stats are a little misleading. Uh, I thought they did a really nice job in the midfield against us, and and I quite honestly I don't think we we did a great job of. Uh, you know, organizing ourselves as the main game went on, especially in the second half, I thought that we could have played a little bit better. But our kids have been fantastic all year. Uh, it's a long, long grind, mm -hmm. long grinding season, and they've, they've been very resilient and uh, focused, and I can't ask for anything better. And uh, Alyssa Meyer getting that goal, it was a highlight goal from about 35 yards out and a laser that went under the bar. And somebody who uh, has taken a, a position change uh, very well. We moved her to Holton defensive mid, mm -hmm. and she used to be an attacking mid or even a forward for for uh, uh, for us in the first uh, year. Um, and so it was good for her to get that that goal because you know they don't get that publicity as right. much as you know um, some of the other players in in our program and in our system. So I was really happy about that. And then. Um, you know, getting the goal, the second goal in the second half, I, you know, obviously you're in soccer, you're always pushing for a second goal. You know, 2 nothing is much bigger than one nothing. And, um, you know, again, getting, uh, getting out of that first game, playing Tiffin a second time in two weeks, you know, I was proud of our, how our kids did, and, and they got ourselves to the finals. Even even though, the, you know, the, they knew that they were going to get in the NCAA, they had done enough with the body work, they were still pretty focused, and I was happy how they played. Now, on Sunday night, championship match you face a national team that won in a shootout over how Dominican uh, on Friday night the script looked to be very similar to the Friday match you won two to nothing you had an early goal this time from Charlie Socha who scored uh, with about 19 minutes uh, or 19 minutes into the match and then uh, very late Ashley Botts added another goal as this game was tight all the way throughout uh, you still out outshot Ashland 34 to 2 after outshooting Tiffin 32 to 2 Chelsea Prezi had a couple of saves but it was pretty tight throughout the two nothing score doesn't really kind of show uh, exactly uh, how close of a match it was but in the end you win two nothing in your GLIAC tournament champions yeah Glenn Francis Nash and he's got them going in the right direction. I thought they played hard for 90 minutes, and that's something that we talked as a, as a team that uh, both both games were a little similar in, in the sense that we came out, played really well early. Uh, in this game, we played into kind of a 25, 35, 35 mile per hour wind, um, uh, and, and we actually played really well. We possessed the ball. We looked uh, we looked like we were very. Uh, very uh, in sync with one another. Um, you know, a lot of short passes. We were very compact in our attack. We, I think, we played really well, and then scored a, a nice set piece goal on a free kick from Aaron Ruiz to uh, Charlie Socha, who scored four goals, and three of them I think were in the, are in the air with her head. So <laughs> that's certainly a strength of hers, and sure. she's doing a great job as a freshman. Uh, and then I think we turned it off a little bit, and um, and I don't know if we turned it off in the sense that we 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 uh, were threatened. Uh, an awful lot by Ashland in terms of our, our, you know, giving up shots and opportunities, but we didn't, we were out of sync. And then, uh, you know, in the second half, I, again, I didn't think that we came with as much focus as we need to. And no matter who you're playing, this is college soccer, you know, you leave them in the, in a game long enough mm -hmm. and, and they started getting some confidence and they did. And uh, to, to our kids' credit, they did fight back, um, you know, especially the last 20 minutes of the half and we got that second goal, which was always a goal of ours. A great set piece. Uh, you know, Aaron Mers and Ashley Botts are, are deadly on set pieces for two different reasons. Aaron has a great touch and, and crafty and um, can lay a ball in on a dime. And Ashley Botts is powerful and had a good, nice right-footed shot to the mm -hmm. back post. And so I was happy for her and I was happy for our team to to uh, finish fifth year straight of uh, GLIAC tournament champs. You also, uh, well, actually, before we get to the, the other postseason awards, are you happy with how the weekend went? I mean, uh, you win, you won the 2010 title over Tiffin in a 2 nothing final, so very similar uh, there even more. I mean, are you pleased with how the Galeag tournament ended up? You, you win both games 2 nothing. maybe not as many goals as you like score, but as you said, you're battling the wind and, and you're battling uh, all kinds of conditions like that. But not only are you, are you 
past the Gleaks now. Now we're looking at NCAA tournament time. Are you happy with where the team is right yeah, now? Yeah, we're we're ecstatic. Uh, how our kids? It, you know, again, you're not going to be great all the time. And um, you know, we try to we try we talk about it in our program. We just don't want peaks and valleys. We know if, if we're gonna if we're gonna struggle a little bit, uh, it's just we're we're gonna. We just want to dip a little bit and uh, and then come back. It's it's how you react to not playing very well and and our, this group trains very well and practices very well. They're very coachable and it's a long season and uh, you know we're not going to be excellent all the time and but the fact of the matter is we we've gotten through the regular season undefeated and that's that was a goal of our kids and uh, you know to to uh, capture the number one seed going in the NCAA and staying at home for at least a weekend and that was a goal and so they've done a lot of great things uh, and set, set goals and and been able to accomplish them. Now, you were certainly recognized uh, this past weekend, uh, players, coaches alike, for your dominant regular, regular season. Uh, a pair of juniors, Ashley Botts, uh, was named the Offensive Player of the Year. Alyssa Meyer, the Defensive Player of the Year. You won the Coach of the Year award again. You had seven players on the first team. I'll go through them real quick. Kayla Addison, Ashley Botts, Aaron Maruz, Alyssa Myra, Megan Brown, Kayla Klosterman, Chelsea Parisi, and Maria Brown was on the second team. Um, what does it mean when you see, you know, you had that award ceremony the last few years it's been here at your place, a lot of awards and plaques and cheering and everything, and it kind of uh, uh, kind of solidifies what you've done throughout the whole year. Well, I think every, every one of those individuals who received, uh, you know, an individual award, including myself, knows that uh, those don't happen if it's not, uh, you know, you're not successful as a team. And it's, uh, you know, soccer is a team sport and, and especially college soccer is. So, you know, give we all give credit to, the, you know, the, the other members of our team to helping uh, us, you know, get to that point and. Uh, that's what it is. It's a reflection of how well your team's done, sure. you know, um, and that's a reflection of our number one seat going into the GLIAC tournament. That's a reflection of uh, how we've done for 18 games getting into the GLIAC tournament. So, um, it, you know, it, it's it's gratifying, um, but I think any any one of our, gr our girls as well as myself would give back that award um, to win a national championship and, and go on a little bit more of a run here in the next four weeks. So um, it, it's gratifying and, you know, it shows a lot of hard work, but there's a lot of a lot of girls in our program who I thought could have got awards as well. And it just is, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a, it's a coach's vote. And, um, you know, I, I think that what helps the whole process is that we know that we're only as strong as uh, each other and, and we're there to help one another. And so I, I was really proud of those girls, but I'm also proud of this team where, where we've gone so far. We look forward to NCAA tournament play now. A couple familiar foes coming to Allendale this weekend. Uh, for fans that don't understand it, Quincy and Wisconsin Parkside will play here at 7 o'clock on Friday. Mm -hmm. You guys have a bye in the first round, so then you will play the winner of that match on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Uh, you beat Quincy last year 3 nothing in the semifinals. Then you beat Wisconsin Parkside 3 nothing in the regional <coughs> finals. Uh, all four times that Wisconsin Parkside has made the NCAA tournament, they played you. Uh, at some point during that playoff t span, and they're two and two against. I mean, you guys are two and two against each other. You split the four meetings, so it's teams you know well. They know you equally as well. Um, do you have? Do you, do you care who you play on Sunday? Does it matter one way or another? Do you match up with the team and uh, just kind of look forward to the weekend? Well, we we definitely know each other very well. I think Quincy's been here for the last five years, uh, and then again, we have a, a long-standing relationship with Par Wisconsin Parkside ever since I started here uh, in 2003. So uh, you know, both teams can hurt us. In uh, different ways, um, you know, I think uh, Quincy is uh, uh, probably as a team um, as athletic as we are. Uh, you know, very organized. Both teams are coached very well. Uh, Wisconsin Parkside uh, has, uh, you know, has had a lot of success. Won a lot of important games as well. They have a one of the best players in the in the region, Shannon Becker, uh, who can help hurt you as well. Uh, so that you know, they they both bring different things uh, to the table. Uh, it doesn't matter to us. You know, we're we, we're pre for this week. We're preparing on our about what Grand Valley needs, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, trying to trying to get healthy and and uh, mentally be as sharp as we can. And we're excited just being in the tournament. And uh, whoever wins, uh, you know, congratulate them. But we want to play. Uh, we want to keep playing after this weekend, and uh, we'll prepare for that team on Saturday once we see who wins on Friday. We well, wish you the best of luck looking ahead. Enjoy the game on Friday. Enjoy the rest and the, and the bye. And then uh, best of luck on Sunday against whoever is, is left standing for you. Thanks, DJ. Thank you for watching the Dave DeAnne Show here on the Grand Valley Sports Network.